Okay, here you can see the laboratory test system. And now just a few more words to make it more clear. This is the centrifugal pump that we are going to analyze and determine its work characteristic, which is possible by using this stop cock or you can call it a throttle valve, which by closing or opening changes the flow rate in the system. Also, you will have to measure four different parameters. These respectively are the input and output pump pressure, which can be measured by these two gauges. In the right, you see the manometer gauk, which measure the output pressure. And in left, you see the vacuum gauk, which measures the input pressure. We also have to measure the flow rate. You see, this is the turbine flow meter, which is connected to an electronic counter. And from here, you can indicate the flow rate in real time. The last parameter, is the motor power which you can take from here and finally you see uh, here we know what is the uh, pump speed of rotation in real time for the aims of this exercise we need to increase this and keep it at 2930 approximately okay so now I'm going to increase the speed of rotation and we can start with the test. Okay, you can see we are going to make it to the required amount. Now it will be more noisy, but I hope that you can still hear me. Okay, we are ready to start now. So this is the first work regime and now you need to measure the four parameters. First, this is the manometer valve. Then this is the vacuum valve. Then this is the flow rate. And finally, you can see the motor power. Okay, now you have all the data for the first work regime. And now I will start changing the flow rate by using this stop cock. Okay, so by closing it, we are going to reduce the flow rate in the system. Okay. So now, this is the next flow rate. Again, the same parameters that you need to measure. First, manometric pressure. Then, vacuum pressure <coughs> then the flow rate and finally the motor power okay now we are ready to move to the next work regime so I continue closing the stop cock the flow rate is reduced and now you have to take the new data so this is the manometric valve again, this is the vacuum valve, now pay attention to the flow rate and finally the motor power. You see that the speed of rotation is almost constant, so it's okay for, for us. Okay, now move to the next work regime. And it's time to take your measurements. So first, manometric valve, then vacuum valve, then we move to the flow rate, and finally the pump power. Okay, so now we need to repeat this a few more times. I reduce again the flow rate, and now you have to take the new data. This is the manometric valve. This is the vacuum valve. The new flow rate. And the new power. Okay. <coughs> Once again, we reduce again the flow rate. 
Hand mount, repeat the same. Manometric valve, vacuum valve, new flow rate, and new motor power. Okay, move to the next. I continue closing the stop pot. And now we have the new flow rate and respectively we are going to take the new measurements. First manometric pressure, then vacuum pressure, then you can see the new flow rate and of course the, the pump, the motor uh, power. Okay, now we see that the speed of rotation is a little bit increased, so we need to decrease it and send it back to the required value. Okay, so the last line with real flow rate. So take the new measurements, manometric valve, vacuum valve. This is the new flow rate and new motor power. Okay, and now the last <laughs> is when the stop top is fully closed. So the flow rate should be zero. You can see the pump, the motor power, and you can also see the manometric pressure and vacuum pressure. Okay, so now you have all you need to complete this exercise.